Hi, so today I'm talking about the Pisces man and how to get with one. So a Pisces man's birthday falls between February 19th and March 20th. Their symbol is the fish, their element is water, and their quality is mutable. So the Pisces man I would describe as probably the most sensitive sign in the zodiac. Uh, Cancer would probably be a close second. Pisces men are the type that are very empathetic. Um, you know, they don't only feel their own emotions, but they can literally feel the emotions of others, especially people that they're close to. Pisces men tend to be creative, they can be artistic, um, maybe they like poetry, very into music, they usually like the arts in some way or another. They also may have a somewhat psychic nature, and I'm not saying they can see the future, but they can be very intuitive and they might be able to kind of know how a situation will play out a little better than the other signs in the zodiac. And another thing to point out is that the Pisces is the last sign in the zodiac. So it kind of takes a little bit of each sign before it and is, you know, the last sign encompassing all signs within. So that might explain why they tend to be more sensitive and feel the feelings of others. A Pisces man usually presents himself well and though his clothes may be grungy or not really fancy looking, they definitely put some thought into it, but they don't want others to know that they put they don't want others to know that they put thought into their outfits. So you know, he usually has some kind of look he's going for and he puts effort into it. He might pretend he like casually threw his clothes on, but he didn't get ready without some thought. Pisces men tend to have nice eyes that, you know, you notice right away. They might have a sad or wary look to them. Um, they usually have something that makes them a little badass, like piercings or tattoos. Um, they can a lot of times have a, a bad boy vibe. Pisces men are complex and aren't always, usually never, who they appear to be on the outside. Uh, his sensitive nature can make his life very tough for him and sometimes he may seem like he has many personalities. So many Pisces love to be provocative or daring, especially when they're younger, and they may like extreme or dangerous activities like extreme sports or, I don't know, skydiving, uh, fire throwing, if that's a thing. So it's kind of like they like to enjoy pain and suffering, which is a little strange, but it's true. Or maybe it's what they know, because inwardly they can feel the suffering that's in our world and in others, and I know that sounds a little intense, but they kind of do, and outwardly they might need to feel that too. So a lot of Pisces men tend to live in a fantasy world that they create, and they'll escape from time to time. So many Pisces may seem as if, you know, they have ADD. Um, because of this emotional disappearing act that they pull. So a lot of these men, because of this, tend to be dreamers um, and not doers. Not all of them, but quite a few Pisces are more of the dreamers than the actual doers of the Zodiac. So they might get wrapped up in one project and seem really into it and like throw themselves into it. And then midway through, they get bored and they move on to something new. Or, in their love affairs, kind of the same thing, they move on to somebody else. Pisces men tend to be the romantics of the Zodiac. Uh, at first, they can become enraptured with somebody, and this person that is the source of their affections um, gets all this attention and romantic, you know, notions thrown their way, flowers, homemade mixed CDs, stuff like that. So, as usual, my camera just cut out of me again, like, five minutes after I was realized it did. So, as I was saying, um, they can throw all their affections towards somebody that they're really into, and then the next second, they're not into them anymore, and they've moved on. Not necessarily someone new, but they've just lost interest, and they're the type that don't really break up or end things. They just kind of drift away or fade away without anybody really understanding what happened. These men can be very flirtatious, but that being said, Men, Pisces men, in the long term, you know, they tend to be very loyal, and as they are in a relationship, their love matures and gets deeper and richer, and 
it's really something great. So if you're with somebody, you always kind of can know that your love is going to get better. Like if you are married to a Pisces man, it will grow stronger and deeper and better with age. So to understand a Pisces man and how he has like this ADD side to him and he gets bored or, you know, he's moving from thing to thing, person to person, you have to just look at a symbol, which is the fish. And this is one of the dual signs. The other sign I'm thinking of right now is Gemini, which is the twins. But it's not just one fish. It's two fish. I think these are fish. <laughs> Swimming in opposite directions. And this fish is heading towards, you know, a safe uh, ground that they feel comfortable with, something they know, something that's tried and true, security, etc., etc. And this fish wants new things, freedom, um, to live in this fantasy world that they know. And they're constantly, you know, they're stuck together. So they're constantly tugging each other towards different things. And that's, you know, one of the reasons why a Pisces man is kind of all over the place and has a hard time settling down and has a hard time sticking with one thing. This is also the type of man that at some points of, in his life, he can be doing so well that people are looking up to him, he's an inspiration, and he really just has everything on track, and he's happy and content. And in the next second, not necessarily like literally a second, but very quickly, this can all kind of come crashing down, and he can drop to a very low point in his life that, you know, is lower than most people can go. Um, this doesn't always happen, but what I'm saying is that it can with a lot of Pisces men. Um, they can be up here and then down here. So a lot of Pisces actually suffer from mental illness. And I'm not saying like all Pisces men are crazy, but because they're so sensitive and feel things the way that they do, they have a harder time and they might deal with depression or anxiety or just stuff, or it might be serious like uh, schizophrenia or, you know, stuff like that. So not all the times. It can be rare, but I'm just saying that they tend to be more susceptible to a mental illness than some of the other signs. So they can also be the type to suffer from drug addictions. Um, they can be, you know, emotionally frail at times. Um, they might end up in a rehab, jail, psych hospital. So now that we've been, like, really negative, <laughs> I also want to point out that these men are the type not to judge others. If he gets to know you and he doesn't like you and he really has gotten to know you, he then might judge you, but he's not going to be, like, broadcasting his judgments to the world. He can keep a s secret better than any other sign in the Zodiac, and he can have a warmth to him that may make you feel comfortable to share secrets with him. So some Pisces men... Um, can be on the lazier side and live almost in a dream state, uh, avidly imagining a future um, and, you know, picturing this for themselves, but it never quite happens and they never quite follow through with it. You know, they just don't take the actions to get where they actually want to go. So they might get bored and give up and actually be kind of down on themselves, blaming themselves, blaming situations, sometimes other people. Um, and they kind of feel like it's the universe throwing, you know, bad luck or fate their way and it's not them not following through in their actions. Other Pisces men, um, go wholeheartedly after their dreams and sometimes they become consumed with them and might be shattered if these dreams don't work out. Um, Pisces men can be quite charming and though they may not have their lives together, um, and they don't really seem like they have a real plan for life, uh, a lot of people may find themselves falling for this romantic soul. Pisces men claim to have a type when it comes to women, but usually what it comes down to um, is they'll usually go for the opposite of what they say they're into. And maybe that's the fish pulling them different ways. So these men can fall prey to a beautiful woman, and like I said, they can be quite flirtatious. He might also fall for a woman that he always knew in the back of his mind that he couldn't have, um, you know, and then he probably will end up having his heart broken earlier in life and he'll never forget it and he'll bring this into his newer relationships and he might have a hard time settling down until he's a little bit older. So it takes him quite a while to get into a serious relationship for the most part. Some Pisces men, you know, end up in one earlier, but usually it takes a little while. As he gets older, he'll probably end up in a relationship with a man or a woman who's responsible and takes care of stuff like the bills and 
payments, I don't know, and the boring stuff, the stuff that no one wants to deal with, but he especially doesn't want to deal with it, and if you bring it up to him, he's probably going to get annoyed, and then not take care of it anyways. Pisces men tend to be attracted to the nurturing type um, that kind of mothers them, not nags them, but just kind of like takes care of them, and you know, tends to their wounds kind of thing. So Pisces men can be like an Aries before he settles down, you know, loving the game of the chase and the mystery and a woman he's into. He feels like he likes a woman that never really feels like he has. He likes a nurturing woman. He does not like a smothering one. He likes a little bit of pain and suffering in his relationships, like a breakup, a fight, an ultimatum, um... And because of this, he's able to feel the passion and the romance that he craves. It can be really hard to get a Pisces man to commit to you. You might be together for years before the topic of marriage or even moving in comes up um, or actually happens. So even then, you might be the one to actually have to push the first step a little bit. Just don't let him know. Just be secretive about it or else he just won't go through with it. Just, you know, be creative in how you get there. So the more you act uninterested in him, especially when he is pursuing you and it's the beginning of the relationship, the more interested he'll be. I know that unfortunately it's kind of like a game and that can be silly, but if you're serious about, you know, a particular Pisces man and you want them to be serious to you, just back off a bit, or a lot. <laughs> um, make him feel like he might be on the verge of losing you and he'll come back to you full force in most situations. So if you want to know if a Pisces man is into you, he might do something cheesy and romantic, like flowers or a poem. Um, he'll always kind of hang around, and he'll sort of flirt, but you'll never really know if he's interested. Like, you'll always be like, wait, was he flirting? Or he'll drop a comment and be like, wait a minute, was that him flirting? Is he interested in me? I don't know. Like, you'll just never, it'd be hard, it takes a while to really know if he's interested, even if he's seemingly being romantic it still is kind of confusing because like i said he might be flirting with other people too at the same time so it's hard to know and you just never quite can get it sometimes you know he'll act this way other times he'll kind of just be cold so again or distant like before he's in a relationship with you so you might just be confused and maybe that's when he's in his little fantasy land and not paying attention to you if he's interested, he'll probably be nervous around you or tongue-tied uh, he probably won't want to spend a lot of time with you uh, this is the guy that, you know, he'll be doing sweet things that kind of seem like they're from a movie, but it's always, like, on and off with him at the beginning, so you're a little confused. This man isn't interested in a woman who's too available. Uh, he likes a woman who's a little different from him because he gets bored easily, and he likes somebody that always has a little mysterious side that he can't quite relate to or doesn't quite know everything about. Um, he wants a woman that he can't quite grasp all the time. Like, doesn't quite feel like he just has her and knows everything about her. He wants a woman who his friends and family like because he can be easily swayed by important people in his life's uh, opinions. He likes, you know, when you're interested in participating in romance uh, one moment and then you're kind of cool and distant the next. So if you, I know this is games again, but you kind of give him a little, take a little back. Very into it and then take it away again. A lot of Pisces men love a woman that is out of his league, you know, better looking, more popular, famous, above him at work in some way, younger than him, older than him. He can be very attracted to that and um, he'll usually, you know, go for somebody like that because it's more interesting to him because he always kind of feels like he can't quite get them. And if he does, then he's quite impressed with himself. My camera is dying. I'm actually going to put Pisces compatibility. I'll write it out and put it in this video and add it in. But I will be starting a different topic for astrology and I'll try to come up with which one I want to do. I know I want to do, you know, different, um, the different zodiac signs for women and go over that, but I might take a little break from that first and do something else. So if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, and as always, have a great day or night.